Sensors only three of us. Code, you were ranked the lowest yesterday amongst us. Didn't uh, Ace beat you? And y'all's, uh, yeah. So, since you were the lowest ranked amongst the group yesterday, I will let you have the luxury of deciding who you want to fight to start. The loser of that fight will have a chance to face the other one. So, let's say you chose to fight me, and I lost, right? I will have the chance to face King for a redemption match. If you lost, you could face King for a redemption match. The winner will move up to the semifinals, or to the finals, technically, for the belt. And they will fight whoever wins that redemption match, if they so want it. So if I get beat by you and I'm like, nah, I don't want a redemption fight, you move up to the finals with, uh, King. You see what I'm saying? So it, because it's three, it pretty much comes down to who you decide to fight. You have a chance to move up. If you fail the first time, you could try the other person to move up. If you fail that one, well, you're SOL. This way we all have someone to fight and we're not just... To where the one player who don't have that opponent gets away with the easy win to the finals. See what I'm saying? We all have to get a good fight in, assuming the loser wants to fight. So who you decide to fight first really ain't gonna change very much. So... It just means if you win that first fight, you don't have to fight again until the championship. Which gives you a time to break. So, choice is yours on who you start the fight with, if you want to fight. Both of us. You wanna, what? I, feel, I mean, remember, each game you get a warm-up fight. So if you lo uh, if you like for the first set is uh, best two out of three, it will technically be the best three out of four. Although one fight really don't matter. So it comes up to you if y'all if you want to take a warm up and fight random opponents, just say that uh, a week me and uh, Ace could or me and King could go at it, and then uh, Ace will decide. So if you want, Ace could face me. And then Ace will get his redemption match against you if he still wants it to. Not Ace, I meant you. I keep saying Ace because I don't know, I'm used to fighting Ace. I'm not used to both y'all being in Fight Night yet. Me and Ace and Rexy be held down Fight Night for a minute. So. Bitch. But yeah, so that's what you want is you want me to fight King to start then? While you take some random chumps on. Alright, sound good to you, King? Alright, like I said, if you lose against me, no harm, no foul. After you and I get done fighting, you have the chance to face off against Code for a redemption match. And if you win against him, you'll still move up. If you lose, well, no harm, no foul. At least you went out swinging. Do you want to make the room, or do you want me to make? Enough. All right, you ready for the code? One six four nine six one. Yep. No, I don't. All right. Yeah. No, I don't know if Chevy ever did this when he hosted it, but because I want things to be as even as possible, and I don't want people to just get like a random move up I want people to get a chance to solidly move up and not have a given match to them you know what I mean I want everyone the chance to say they earn their right up there not that I got the chance to the championship cuz because I was given the thing over earning it especially if y'all don't want to fight the champ because I mean I get it blow from Drago rips his opponent wide open. Did a little, did a couple of back shots on that one, wasn't exactly intentional. Drago looks like he's going for the knockout. That sent him stumbling. Oh, what a hit. 
That's how we doing it, bro. This is best two out of three. If you could win twice in a row, that's that. Before we get any farther, do you want this to be a warm-up match? My answer is I don't give a shit. I don't need a warm-up. All right, then it's just best two out of three. You got to beat me two times consecutively, or you just got to win two times against me. All right. Well, you got cocky, Dude. and I got, and I'm strong. That's it. As tough as your character may be, that extra health don't work against. Oh wow! So far, nothing to worry too much about. I'll say. Please, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the opportune time, that's all. <laughs> three to one don't mean shit to me. Numbers don't mean shit. Do not get a too cared away about the number. I usually don't hit and stagger, especially right now, but I want to prove a point. One win to King. Very nice. Very right, well done. Yeah, 359. Rounded up a uh, single sec. I need to stop trying to defend. I need to stop trying to defend. <laughs> it shows I was trying to be a smart ass to defend more. Oh, well. That shows that defense really isn't my cup of tea. All right, you just need one more victory. And then you moving up, to, you move up to the finals. This is tournament style. There's only a couple of times throughout the year where, when a champion fights off against one competitor, and then the overall victory goes, like the belt goes to the entire victor. Maybe, maybe I might need to start hitting on Stagger. Maybe I might. <laughs> Possibly. I said two one, yeah. One, two. I think one of the hardest parts three. about facing against you amongst some of the others isn't necessarily just the speed. But Rex is pretty quick too. What makes you tougher to fight is you're less predictable and your punches are a little harder to block. So I can't necessarily go and anticipate where you're about to punch me. You make it tough. That's a good thing.
takes a solid blow and stumbles back. One. I might have been a gunner two, if I didn't duck that, if I'm honest. Three. Four. Five. All right, in-game knowledge came to help me there. That is it. What, you are spinning rapidly? Or... Very nice, you had me left, that good. That was a very nice uh, fight there. Do you have it, uh, tied to your, like, do you have the band on your wrist? Like, you have the straps on? Do you have duct tape? Tape it back together. I'm being a smart ass, but I'm being legit. <laughs> Yeah, the defense was pretty good on that one. When you and I were just standing toe to toe, that uh, my second knockdown, when we were just throwing hands at each other, a lot of those hits were actually simultaneously punching each other's gloves. And it counts as a defense. That's why that happened. I can't see it because I got, I mean, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me my hands back, would you? There it goes. It was definitely a closer bout. I'll give it that much. I'm gonna go and change the end of that movie, by the way. I'm gonna be killing two people in a minute. The winner of this. The winner of this takes all. Winner takes all this match. Winner moves up. Even if you, uh, yes, assume, like, you have the chance to face code for a redemption match. And the same goes for me. Even if I lose this, I'm going to go and meet you in the finals and, uh, because of code. Assuming we can actually beat him. Have you ever thought about taking like some tape or something or something to help get a better grip on the controller? Like something to help. Well, no, 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 no. What I mean is like on the controller itself, like where you grip it. At the bottom, have you ever thought about like grabbing something and like duct tape or something or and wrapping it around the control to help create a makeshift grip? Something to keep your hand from just slipping out? That's what I'm saying. A perfect hit from Drago. Well, you're also uh, tough this time. You don't have cocky working for you. You want to hike. We technically even out. You have normal hit power, I have normal health. I hit stronger, but you have that health. We are literally the same exact fighter. Your extra health means nothing to my character's strength. But my strength means nothing because you take the hit. And we both have poor defense, so we can't defend with our gloves. Close, that's for sure. Keep on things rare, Charles. I like I said, I don't come out of the corner and uh, hit you in your corner unless if you welcome it. Then sure. If you wait any longer than a round in that corner, though, I still come for you. Um, nothing. Yeah, it's a roof. I've seen these maps too much to even think about looking up. I don't look up until after the match or before the match. One. 
It was that side. It was that side punch. If you didn't notice, my left hand actually went for a hook. Learn to hook on top of your jabs. Like your jabs, they work. Like your frontal attacks work. Try to mix it up a bit as well and throw in hooks to the side. That's how I'm getting you a bunch. When I hit you, I'm mostly hitting you with my hooks. Because I know your front is covered because you keep using your hands to the front. So I can predict they're going to be somewhere in that frontal range. Compared to the side. Keep that in mind. That's why you... Uh, that's why you mix the two up to keep a clean, random fight style. Maybe. Although I'm gonna fair warn you, once you get into stagger, I ain't going off you like I usually do. Oh, never mind. You got one more set of fights to go through before you can, uh, before you get that belt. You got one more set to go through. That's a very good job. Keep that uh, momentum going. You got this. It's because you're tough, remember? You have that health advantage. As, although I'm strong, the problem is the same problem I did last game. Last night, how I had like 120 hits. Stuff like that. It's because I'm technically throwing in lighter taps on you where you were hitting stronger hits on me. However, I guarantee you, assuming I move up at least... That ain't gonna happen next time. I'm promising that much. If I move up in that final, he's gonna be moving up. You and I are gonna be taking a stab at it now. I let my guard down a little too much. I got a little too funny with it, and I paid the cost for that one. Luckily, these rules helped anyone and everyone get a chance at the belt. Mostly, anyways. Yep. I mean, you could go and face me for a warm-up if you want. I don't mind it. Alright, that sounds good to me. So instead of the best two out of three, we'll do three out of four fights. You want to create the room or you want me to do it? Alright. 5-0-4. Oh, Six. Six. Eight. Right, I got you. Alright. I'm gonna stick it in with Drago. I've been playing Drago all game, I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, not necessarily. I don't know what you're thinking, but. Well, to be fair, we'll both be pretty strong. It just depends on how well you are. It depends on how you play it. Oh, spirited. That's a different pick. For somebody who plays defensively, that's going to be a different pick, a different style. You're going to throw me off guard today, aren't you? Good luck, man. <laughs> If I lose, I lose. That's it. There's no redemption match up to this. If Code manages to take away the victory, we will have a new champion tonight. If he could do, take the D away. If I could beat him, it's not guaranteed there will be a new champ. You will still be... Yeah, your chance is solid. Uh, solid. While you're waiting... Put your headset on the charger so you don't die out, alright? Yeah, because I had to take and call the match as a uh, null void, and I technically be tamed by default. At three. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Yeah, I think I think about three would be a fair 
You think we could take about 10, 20 minutes? Yeah, give it about 10, 20 minutes. We'll message you. All right, when you're ready. Damn, bitch went down. Looks like I might need to step up game today. Fighting against, uh, fighting against, um, King's Three. offense, you gotta be quicker than that. I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, I can slow down for a second against you. I don't need to be super high speed against you. What a shot. Drago. I don't have really to use swarm mode or flurry mode to beat you. Not entirely, anyways. What an angle. He lost his <laughs> oh, that was... One. I feel like it's coming soon. Two, I feel like I'm going down. Three, four. Now I ain't gonna lie though. When it comes down to the finals, if I move up, because I'm not just counting you yet. Into his when it comes down to final mode, if I can make it, he better expect. Oh, I thought we had an extra knockdown. Hold on, where did that other knockdown go? Damn, that's a, that seems short. <laughs> I expected a little more. I expected the match to feature a little longer. Luckily, that was the warm-up you wanted. Got you getting going, so... Like I said, we had to win... We have three fights at the bare minimum, if not four. So, you definitely have the uh, time to keep going, warm it up. So... I feel like... You know what? I feel like I'm going to lose for this, and I feel like this is a bad choice, but... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to regret this decision right here. Power over Stanema. Yep, this is the first real game. This is a game of speed over Stanema. Or power over speed. Which one works better? Alright. You know, actually, I'm kind of questioning how well Greendale Chevy would work against. Like, how well this Greendale style would work against, uh, King. Dang. Very nice job, very nice job. A perfect hit for traps. That knocked him around. Oh, that side duck of my that side swipe I did was I'm gonna say that saved me that time. Y'all, you all took what I said to her. Y'all are pressuring now. Y'all trying to get me to start dodging, aren't you? You trying to get me to go all out against you guys, aren't you? You guys are trying to make me eat my words about not being worthy of my uh, full effort. That's for damn sure. I will definitely give credit. Both of y'all are doing a lot better than yesterday. Y'all took my words and y'all making me eat my words right now. Every bit of it. I'm not holding back speed no more. I'll hold back. I'm going 100 speed right now. Well... Actually, I would expect that. That sounds about right. That sounds about right, actually. I mean, for lean and weak characters, I would expect about an 80-90 hit. If I was to take a guess. 
I don't know. I feel like Scrap Spirited really don't mean nothing no more. His uh, Stanima, I, I feel like it doesn't work like it used to. Like on the old game where you could feel him having that Stanima diff compared to now where it's like he feels like he has the same Stanima as everybody else. Making him probably one of the worst to pick in game actually because everyone really has that high Stanima. The only ones who really don't and they average about the old Stanima is probably the overexerted characters. I don't know. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got? I'm trying to go outside the box a little bit. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Rexy tends to play as him. One of Rexy's mains now. You know what? Uh, I think I was talking I was talking hella shit about this guy when you had to play as him during campaign. Actually, this don't look too bad. Actually, yeah, I'll take him. I'll throw that up. Uh, no. Lean. Yeah, why not? I mean, sure, I take less hits, but then again, you are, like, we're pretty much gonna be, I'm gonna, assuming you knocked me down first, because you're strong, you're always, like, I'm bare minimum health at this point, fighting off a strong player as Lean, stat-wise. However, given time, I got highest anima, naturally, and then you will make me strong by being cocky. Assuming I go down first according to how it should go based off stats predicting stat wise That's how it should play But we don't know too much. It's all about uh, skill on this one That's what makes this game so fun is even if we have stats the skill the level we individually have Those stats completely out the window. It means jack for skilled players We just go with the flow we pick someone because we like the person not because of the stat don't get me wrong, we still love the stats we pick. I think we just learn how to play a certain characters because of the fact we love that character. So when you're ready, one, zero. A little pressure being applied here. I forgot he talked to us. I'm about to start cursing this guy out. Why is his arm so bandaged up? What the fuck? Do you need more bandage because you're fucking weak? Jeez. Talk about being a little bitch. There goes his balance. Yeah, damn, I didn't expect That was a lot faster than anticipated. That just shows how much strength can go against him. Damn, I need to be on my toes for this one. I definitely didn't expect to get down that fast. That just shows you stats do play something into this. speed during this one. I gotta make sure to hit you first. One, two. Definitely being a close match. This so far has been pretty, pretty solid. Just like this. Now's my chance. I love how if you listen to the hits, I, uh, like, you know how you could hear the other person's hits? It's kind of, it's kind of funny, because if, uh, listening to the punches I've been dealing, it kind of sounds like I'm making a beat. Dum-dum-dum, dum 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 all that shit. It's getting kind of funny. One, two, three, oh, yeah. Four. Given the speed and stamina power that I have over you, compared to that massive health decrease, it makes it a uh, sudden death, really. Oh wait, I thought he knocked you down in one spot. Oh shit. Oh shit, I definitely was behind. Oh, you got knocked down. Wait. Hold on, is this your third or? Eight. Nine. Ten. 
they were giving you. I was like, hold on, when I knocked you down, I thought that was game, and then I realized, wait, no. That was knocked down, hold on. That's why I was like, hold the fuck up. That's why I was so confused for a second. I was like, hold on. All right, let's see what time. I mean, we could go a couple of more if you like. I mean, damn, that, that kept me, that kept me on my toes. Like I said, stats came into play a lot right there. So I had to, I couldn't get funny about my moves. And I tried to definitely mix in my style with Chevy's style. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I never seen it, but I heard about it. That's what's so scary about Wolfpack. And that's why I'm like, hell no. That's why it is my goal one of these days. Like, I, unlike a lot of other people, I managed to beat Wolfpack twice. The very first time we faced, I got the victory on the guy. After that, it was all him. And we kept fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, and I just eventually took that extra win. Like, I was starting to get momentum, and I got like, uh, right, like, right in the mood, and oh man. It was still a close call for sure. But definitely something that I still can't even think I could pull off. As quick as I am, I'd have to be hauling my ass up that damn shadow. Although I'd love to actually see what it was like from his point of view to get up the fourth time. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Who else do we have here? That, that is... That right there shows stamina difference. I mean, I can't ever... Like, I normally, when I get knocked down for the count, I normally knock down three, I get up about four seconds in. I might be able to pull it off. I might be able to. The problem, though, is if we're able to pull that off, what I'm going to need to do is actually get knocked down to that state. And the problem is, is most people do not knock me down to that state. I get knocked down every so often, but I'm not knocked down to the last few. When I do, like against King, it was a one and done. Once King knocked me down, the game's like, nah, you ain't getting back up. The game wasn't giving me that chance. I'm pretty sure this is a lie. I'm pretty sure Apollo did not train here. Because if you uh, if you watch the um, rewatch the Rocky three, Apollo makes a mention about uh, going back where he started, and this is like a back end low alley gym, not some extravagant place like this. It was a lot more, well, ran down and shit like that. It was like, you could definitely tell is where African Americans probably had to train back then compared to now. This It definitely, I'm, I still call bullshit to this gym. He might have went and made this after he became champ, and this might be where he went and started to train after then. I'll give it However, I don't, th I don't think this is where he went and trained and learned up from. I think I cut my finger a little bit. Oh, oh, ho, ho. As to you. A perfect hit from Sparino. I could get up in like a second, maybe two. It only gives me a count of two half the time because I'm having to wait for that stupid slow segment where it just slowly enters the ring and puts you up. It's like, it don't let me get up that fast like in a single second. Although I popped right back up before people's had the chance to turn around. Sparino showing some great technique with that blow. Damn. One, two, Can you like get up three. you dumb bitch? Sparino's 
Carino slams hard into his opponent. You know, actually, I could kind of see, like, uh, Four. what type of fight style did, uh, like, uh, like, did Call of Duty Warbot and all of them have when they were fighting them? Swarmers? Actually, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because looking at how you fight, I could see, like, uh, when you go on offensive, you pull that same swarm stunt that they pull. It shows. Good job, man. How much, like, what type of fight style, like, uh, when you watch me fight, what type of fighter do you do I remind you of when I'm in the ring? There is no right or wrong, this is just who you think. Like, when you're fighting me, what do you think, uh, who does it feel like you're fighting? Probably Spartan. You so you've had the chance to fight Spartan. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know that's that's funny because to an extent you kind of give me a uh, you kind of give me a Rexy vibe when you go all out because you definitely like targeting like uh, you and him both target the same location. That's why whenever you all go and uh, throw the offense instead of doing like the normal one or two like the others do. That's why I instantly just put both hands up. Because I know y'all are just going to keep going for one spot. You definitely have that uh, Rexy vibe. I'm trying to think about who else old school wise. You gave me, you definitely give me Andy vibes. I'll give you that much. Who, uh, who was fighting first? You or Andy? Like who was in the community first? Andy. So he was your mentor then. No? Green? So you and Andy just fought a lot. Or it shows. It kind of looks like a fighting each other you kind of picked up on his style his uh kind of like he was your mentor to an extent like he taught you a bit of uh, offense because it kind of because uh, when you said spartan i'm like yeah that makes sense because it gives off that uh because i've noticed whilst watching some of y'all fight you off the same vibe as the uh, whom you either fought against the most or your mentor me and uh, Spartan, we faced a lot out of fight night. We fought, uh, like, whenever I had the chance to choose somebody for fight night, my first instinct normally was to choose either Spartan or Chevy to fight. Those were my first two instincts. Although Chevy always gave me the biggest heart of the time. Like, he was always a pain in the ass for me to fight. It was like there was something about him. I didn't get the chance to fight him as much, so I couldn't go and learn him as much. On top of the fact he's so wild and random, he's so wildly, it's hard to, hard to learn the guy. Until you piss him off. <laughs> I have, I've seen it, well, I've only done it once. <laughs> and like I said, that's when I was posing around and talking shit about the group. He went, oh, he wasn't very nice after that. He was like, you're talking all that game, you were talking all that shit. And I'm like, damn, going. All right, that worked. Well, at least it was in the rest mode and it was powered into the rest mode to allow it to charge up some. Where you at right now? 27. Honestly, these last three fights won't take very much. It might be three, four fights actually, but it shouldn't go no more than best. Uh, I think seven fight or hold on wait I'm trying to do the math real quick I'm being stupid there will be a total of five fights if you and I keep going back and forth if you and I keep going back and forth there'll be a total of four fights or a total of five fights however I Maybe after fight night, you want to reserve that power. As much as I want you to go and do it, as much as I'm cool if you're doing it, it is by far the smartest thing to take and reserve that speed, that power, that momentum. You ought to keep that. This is championship match. 
Plus, I don't need you running out of battery and there being another split decision. Especially on camera, I was like, no, that makes it look like I barely got away with holding on to the belt. I'm proving once and for all that. Yesterday, it would have been a no doubt. Today, you got in, you got a pretty good clean guy, uh, shot in on me, I'll give you that much. However, in this redemption match, I'm proving once for all. I'm proving why I'm the champ. So, do you want to make the match? Oh, you, you and I are going back to back again. Best three out of five. You. Alright, so you want it? Alright. What's it? 2 9. Four four. Yeah, just a tad bit. I'm like, I was going to originally take off my shirt, but I'm like, I'm like, no, I'll keep it on for the moment, because I don't want to risk disconnecting just for a sec for my headset to go off, any cut stream or anything like that. Although I will give you, Co, that definitely was close on the, uh, the, uh, Felix uh, Erickson fight. That was pretty close. That was very fun. I was hoping you actually got up that last time. I was hoping. I think that would have been, like, uh, have you ever thought about putting your, uh, fight achievements up? Like, uh, like you've seen in the Discord how there's a, uh, tag for uh, fighters achievements stuff that we have done personal achievements you should you should fill that out that would be pretty cool to see what you've achieved oh yeah Chicago, delivering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent Drago, showing some great technique with that blow i know assuming that uh Drago Assuming that uh, King could take him step away from victory, I know that's going to be one of his first achievements right there. Actually, he could also put up the fact that he went to the finals not once, but twice in a row. Oh, Hell yeah, anything you consider achievement, one, any personal two, achievements can go up there. A needle. Drago is a complete powerhouse. All right, all right. Keeping that momentum going. They made an like I told, uh. Like I told Code when we went to fight, y'all pushing it today. I'm gonna go full fledged with my speed today. Very nice. Obviously today I'm getting a little too funny with things. I'm gonna have to prove that real speed I got. Didn't exactly work the way I was hoping for it to, but I worked pretty pretty decently, Gordo. I'll give it. It helped. Now you're gonna be feeling the full force of speed, or at least a good 85% of my speed is gonna be pulled out here. Until you guys pressure me enough to where I'm having to feel like I gotta go be up beyond physical limits, and sure, that's what you might be doing today. That sent him stumbling. I think the knockdown's three two right now. It's round one. Keeping it close, keeping it things close today. Taking one where it 
Three, three, round one. One, two, three, four. It's gonna be one of those close matches. It's definitely gonna be a close call. It, ma it really comes down to who hits who first, really. Who could act a Who could get who in the... Who could get where first? Oh, wait a minute. He's in the fourth knockdown. He's in the fourth knockdown. He could get up. He could. He's in the fourth knockdown state. Seven, eight, All right. nine. Now right, you're starting to get up. You, ten. you're in the sitting posture without it. Getting up in that fourth knockdown state is pretty damn hard. Only one person's pulled that off. Maybe two that I've seen, or at least heard about. But you were pretty much to where your character was uh, sitting up. Not that he wasn't all the way on the ground. So you did a good job getting up. For at least for that, that picking yourself up from there is a pain in the ass. So. Not very many people has done it. All right, let's see who do we got here today. Um, I think I'll go with Bubba Lang this time through. True, but if played correctly and with proper defense, the stamina won't be too much of a problem. What a shot. Clubber, really showing off his power with oh, he said he was going to go his headset, I think. Clubber takes a solid blow and stumbles down. The lower your stamina gets, the easier and the more damage you take. That's why when hitting and stagger, that's why it's easier to knock someone out. So the lower your stamina gets, the easier it is to knock someone down. That's why sometimes defending and waiting to attack proves to be useful. Because when you went to back off from me, that's when I went to attack you. I knew your character stamina was running lower. So I knew I would do more damage. Clubber Lang is also stronger. Because, like, each character, they have their pro and con, like, uh, like, their toughness, their cockiness, all that, their stats. But they also have individual stats, too, that separate them from everybody else. So if you run both uh, Donis and Kevin Nash, despite the fact they're both well-rounded, they still have different stats. One may have a little more health than the other one. The other one may take uh, more damage. Oh, a hard hit from Club. Something like that. In your case, what makes, uh, like, Victor a powerful opponent is if he starts winning. If you win, you will go and get a power decrease. You will be less damn, like, you will take less hits. If you lose, though, like you just did, you get a power increase. So you hit harder. However, in this... Oh, shit. I completely forgot. My bad. Like, in this case, if you knock me down first, I will get mad like you do. The only difference, though, is you have uh, that... You have two stats working against you. Where you lose health and I deal more damage. Because you have... Uh, nice. Like, because I'm tempered and I deal more damage after being knocked down, and you get cocky, meaning you take less damage... If you knock me down before I can knock you down, that will make it real easy for me to knock you out. Slams hard into his opponent. One, two, three, four, five.
Uh, no, I said I was holding back yesterday. I meant it. Uh, I'm not sure. Sometimes characters just... Sometimes you take more hits on some rounds, and then you take a lot less hits on others. The general come like the general gist is that usually an opponent takes about anywhere from 80 to 100 hits. About. As long as it equals out, I mean, you don't need to go and get hit 20 times per game. It just happens. One, two, three, that one, four, I don't know. Five, six, I could also, I could guarantee seven, the reason why you got hit eight, within that last round is because within nine, my time of punching, some of those attacks I do, or some of my defense, when I'm pulling up defense, I'm actually going for a defensive hit. So, like, if you've ever seen it where I'm taking my hand and I'm moving it in an upward swipe, it's actually me throwing a hit while going into defense. Overall, not too big, but... I mean, you definitely still threw more hits than I did. And I think that's where you went, and I think that's probably what gave uh, the win to me, is you've wasted more punches, and it made your character more exhausted. The more exhausted your character gets, the easier the knockdown. Like, that's why the more punches you throw compared to the other player can come back to bite you. Because that means you're wearing your character out. They have less energy, they're less health. And it wears down what they can do. And that's why I like... It happens. Within the last knockdown, assuming that your other knockdowns don't come quick, assuming you get about a 20-30 hits for the first two, you'll probably get about a 10-20 hit for your second one, then you got about a 10-20 hit for your last one. And fighting against high-speed uh, fighters like myself, where, like somebody who's quick on the punch, some of those punches will hit you and you won't even realize you just got hit. Like I said, like uh, you might have noticed this, but when I go and throw defense up, sometimes you might see me take and throw my hand like that. When I'm doing that, I'm not directly just trying to throw my hand up for defense, because if I wanted to put all up defense... If I'm like a fighting standpoint, like my arm goes out, like I'm throwing a punch instead of pulling up like I normally do, I could easily pop up a more direct hit, like a direct defense. That's where you got hit when you uh, hit me into stagger before going down. The reason why you got hit is when I was doing my arm swipe, it wasn't the fact I was necessarily going into defense, but when I was doing it, my arm went out and swiped back up like I was backhanding. I was intentionally throwing a hit at you, knowing that it could also lead to a defensive position afterwards. Like I told you last night, brute strength is useful. Brute strength does not uh, win everything. You gotta have defense on you too. What's your battery at? Alright, oh, it shouldn't take too much longer. Well, I'll, we'll end this quickly. We shouldn't take no more than uh, what's needed. So. Fight Night does that to you. That's where I knew your physical ability, and this is why I counted last night as a loss for you, even if you finished it out. Something tells me you would have exhausted out before you could have finished the match, and I would have probably went and overdrive mode like my second win seeing your exhaustion I would have pulled out an extra bit of speed to put you down when it comes down to the two of us you're great at being quick but you lack your ability to hold that speed you lack the ability to keep going your endurance isn't bad but it needs more work so this is constructive criticism it sounds like I'm being a dick. It probably is. However, in order to get you to improve, I'm not going to go and tell you you're always doing great. You're doing a great job, but there's still a lot of flaws that you need to power up. So. We got only one more round to go. 
Or if you want, we could you could drop out now, and the end result will stay the same. Unless you could power these last three. What? Oh, well, maybe. Assuming you don't fully power it down and you keep exhausting the battery like you do, it does that. Well, that was disappointing. Although, let's be honest here. Fight night was going to end this way. I made it clear I wasn't losing tonight. I made it damn clear and there was nothing that was going to change that fact. This is the thing. Yeah, he got the best of me that first set. And technically, according to fight night rules, I would have been out of the tournament. But because of the new set rules that was being thrown up due to... uh through the stamina and stuff like uh because the fact we have three people and i want to shot for everybody to get somewhere and fight everyone like the intentions was to make it fairly simple and easy so everyone had a chance to fight but here's the thing this is why i knew the win was going to be over to king he's a great offensive he could rival me in the ring, and he's done so. Maybe not in the sense of speed, but he definitely has the potential to rival Rexy in flurry combat. He might actually be able to outdo Rexy, given his speed. There's two problems that make him... That's two things that he needs to get down before he can become the champ. Number one, he needs to up his endurance. Number one, or that's number one. Number two... He needs to learn the game better. He needs to come in and he needs to start. He needs to start realizing things. He's too arrogant with his abilities. And this, I'm saying, is a bad thing. I am a cocky fighter. I know how damn good I am. Wing given earlier. I didn't want to say this. Not with both of them around. Shut down this party so I... Don't, because I don't need it no more. But here, here's the problem with, uh, with these two fighters. And I mean this in respect, and I hope you guys see this and hear this. I just didn't want to say it in front of y'all, because we were fight night, and I didn't want to lower your self-esteem during the fight night. I want you guys to take a chance to reflect after fight night so you could understand. Code, you fight great. 100% you're a great fighter. You just need to start training harder, and you need to start building that up. Because I'll give you, you're great in offense and defense. You're very traditional. You're very good. You're well-balanced. The problem is, is you haven't pushed in one field. You're well-balanced in shows. Your defense, I've noticed you changed from using it because I don't know why you changed. But I could definitely tell you when I've seen a change in it. Is because your defense wasn't working against us because we're offensive fighters. Now, it might have just been the random thing, but he's definitely turning into an infighter, and I might very well just take in a. And, a, like, that's cool. But I'm. And I might just take a. Change your uh, class, because it's not like we can't change. But all in all, you're trying to throw the first strike. And when you're throwing your first strike, for a counter fighter like yourself who's done better trying to counter, you need to move your arms more for countering and defending. You need to make it tougher for me to hold and put that defense in, but you're too slow. At least against me. Work on moving your arms and moving defense. Rely on ducking and weaving. If you start doing that while holding defense, you're going to be a great counter fighter. However, you need to start moving your, you need to start moving more. That's your biggest thing, is you need to start picking up speed and moving. Even if it's just a little bit of a lean, a little bit of a lean means all the difference. That's your biggest flaw. King, your biggest flaws. You lack endurance. And you are cocky as hell. You, my friend, I will say this with respect. 
And I'm saying this as mean and cruel as possible. Because I want this to get in your head. You need to chill the fuck out. I went easy, speed-wise. If I wanted to, that speed you seen those last two rounds could have easily been there. And this goes to anybody and everyone. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for that speed more constantly. They're not ready for me. I will hold back my speed. I only go about 60% speed for the most part. Or I'm going to go faster punches, but I'm going to rely on defense heavily. Which isn't my style of fighting. When I go offensive like I'm supposed to, you will know it and you will know that's when I went all out for you. Until then, I am just too damn quick for you and I was purposely letting you build up momentum because you've been talking a lot and you've been improving a little, or you've improved a bit. However, you are not at level to officially beat me and I want you to get somewhere. Same with code, I held back. For both of you. I want y'all to get your self esteem up. To make you feel like you can come back next week. To win. But given how you guys are. You need more training. In particular fields. One of you. Code. Work on movement. Work on movement and speed better. King. Work on your endurance. Your endurance isn't spectacular. And work on form. Because your form is very sloppy, and it's allowing very easy works. If it wasn't for the fact that I feel, I'm pretty sure you could still get staggered while in defense, and getting hit in defense, I'm pretty sure it'd still put you on the stagger. But the problem is, is if I was to go offense and try to square up, I know I could punch faster than you, and I'm purposely going defense knowing I can outmatch you. Quit getting cocky, quit thinking you're better than what you are, remember your place. If I need to next week, I will go all out for both of you to show the complete gap in power. If you guys need motivation, if you guys really want to be pushed that far to understand the motivation, like to get it as a motivation to try to beat what I pull out on you, then I will do just that. But King, I will do that for you so you can humble yourself. Code already understands what it's like to fight against good people. He's faced the same general people that I've faced. Whether he's faced them at the same time error or a different time error when they improved or were worse or I don't know. I wasn't around at that time to face them at the same time. He's not around to face them uh, when uh, you know I face them. The, zone, the time zone error changed for this game when you know, with this fight I'm. But King, you need to learn your place. Learn to humble yourself. You talk about winning a bunch, and I am proud that if you are. However, winning isn't everything you need to learn to humble yourself. Once you humble yourself, you're going to get better. Until then, you are going to keep losing until you push it to that limit. Period. Humble yourself. Once you humble yourself, you'll understand where you are, and you will soon improve once you humble down. When you start thinking and trying to think like a champion, not as a competitor, become a Rocky Balboa. Do not continue as a clubber lane or a... Yeah, no. Yeah, don't be a clubber lane. You're a clubber lane at the moment. You're strong. But you're... You lack the ability to keep going. You have a you talk a bunch and you hit hard. Like you got the clubber lane mentality. I got the Rocky mentality where if I need to, I will adjust. I will train. I will get better. I will do whatever it takes. And I got that going for me. And we all know in the end of Rocky Three, sure the first time like today. Because I wasn't going all out and I wasn't all there. And it showed. Later in the match though, sure it was still pretty even now. He definitely put some good hits on me like Clubber did. But just like Rocky, he still pretty much gave the ass whooping. He definitely proved Clubber wasn't no match. Learn from your mistakes, get better. Humble yourself, get better. That's going to conclude fight night tonight. Although, yeah, the match results were pretty simple. Being it was 2-0, to zero, 
and his headset died instead of uh, like it did last time I'm gonna call it a this one's not gonna be a null and void this is a complete win on my part there was too big of a gap it wasn't close not nah, it was a two to zero and there was no coming back even if I was to face him one more time it would have made no damn difference so that's just how we're gonna call it today hopefully next week we got somebody if you all want to join fight night and want to see if you can't take down the champ especially on Saturday I will not lose Saturday I will give you what it takes on Saturday but if y'all ever want to join links always in the description peace out y'all